Hey y'all, it's Diane with Y'all Craft One and my old barn door. And I just thought I'd do a quick video today while I was in the process of working in my ring binder journal. I thought I'd just do a quick video and show y'all kind of how I choose what goes in the ring binder journals, whether it be digitals, which of course, you know, I'm using my um, farmhouse or my Christmas farmhouse digital that I made into a ring binder kit. And if the, that's something that y'all enjoy, let me know and I'd be glad to turn some of the other kits um, into ring binder kits for you too. So um, just leave it in the comments below if that's something that you would like for me to do. Um, it might take me a little time because it does take time, um, but I'll get to it. Um, so anyways, I just thought that we could play with paper today. Um, I have some wonderful pieces um, to choose from, so I thought we would just spend a little time today, a very short, brief amount of time, um, just kind of taking a peek into my brain process. <laughs> That's a little scary, but uh, my thought process into what I choose to go into the journals as far as, um, you know, scrapbooking papers and things like that. So um, let's just see. Okay, so what I do is I went ahead and I tore out all of the ring binder pages from the digital kit, and that's what I start with. And so I put these in the order that I want them in, and then I go ahead and I put them in the ring binder, okay? So I have them all in here and placed the way I want them. I just took one of these and I used it as a, um, a template to punch my holes into the ring binder pages. And so now what I will do, I'm going to leave these tabs um, in here for now, the tab pages. But what I'm going to do is I will eventually, when I start getting ready to put pages in to the ring binder, I will... Um, I'll separate these uh, tabs out into sections. So you'll have a few of these pages and a few other pages behind the first tab and then a few more behind the second tab and so on and so forth. So that's kind of how I layer, so to speak, um, my ring binder together. So once I get these pages in, I just kind of put my ring binder to the side and um, these are the pieces, um, the ephemera pieces that go with the kit. So I'll put them with the ring binder. And then I'm going to start picking and choosing some of my favorite scrapbook papers. Now for me, this is probably one of the hardest parts of making a ring binder journal because I want to put so much in it. Um, but as you can see, this is kind of a smaller spine. And so I'm not going to be able to put as much as I would normally put, but I'm okay with that. That's why I got out that other ring binder, because I'm probably <laughs> going to have an overflow from what I pick from uh, for this journal. So, I love these Tim Holtz pieces. I mean, these are super cute. I'll show you the pack. It's called Worn Wallpaper. Christmas Noel is this, this pack. And so, those are the ones that I picked out of that, this one. But I'm going to have to dwindle this down, because... I want to use, um, I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's the Paper Studio, so it's their brand. But I love this one with the green. It says Merry Christmas. And I love this one with the Merry and Bright. So I'm going to go ahead and, and tear these two out. Maybe. Okay, I got those torn out. So I know I'm definitely going to use these two. So I'm going to make, I'm going to start myself a little stack. <laughs> this I'm not going to throw away because these you can cut apart and make cute little paper clips out of. So I will put this back in my little Christmas box until I have time to make the paper clips. Then I'm going to choose from my Tim Holtz pages which ones I want. And I absolutely love this one. This is one of my favorite ones of all. So I'm definitely going to put that in the stack. I love this, but I'm thinking I might save this for a pastel Christmas journal. Let's see. I'm loving the green, but it's a different color green. Ooh, that one's really pretty. Maybe we'll use that one. So, oh, 
Oh, that one's so stinking cute. How cute is that? I love the Santas in that one. But I'm thinking it's not going to go as well with the farm style. So we'll keep that for another journal. And I think I'm just going to use two of those because I don't want to overload my ring binder with a bunch of the same kind of pages. Then I have this Tim Holtz um, Christmas Noel paper stash. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are 8 by 8 pages, so they're kind of perfect um, for a ring binder journal. And I like these because they're double-sided pages. So you have something on each side. And I think this one I'm going to love for this journal because it's double-sided and it's got the barn feel to it. And I could use this one, but I have those music pages and I'm definitely going to use a couple of those. But there are some super, super cute pages in this little paper pack. Then I have this um, pack. It's called Home for the Holidays. I got it from Paper Studio as well. Um, and it's, I used it last year and I loved it so much. I went back and got another pack just to make sure I would have enough. So I have a brand new pack of it too. So I'm thinking I'm going to pick one or two pages from this. Um, again, so that I don't overload, um, you know, the journal. So I think I definitely want to pick this one. And what I do is I kind of put my stack in front of me and I spread them out a little bit so that I can see what I have already so that I don't get too much of one color. You know, I get a good variety of colors and a good variety of types of pages and types of patterns like this has the pine cone pattern, and this has pine cones with the mistletoe or holly berries, and this one has the barns. So it's, you know, kind of a variety of patterns. And then this one has the trucks, which y'all know I love. The barns, the windmills, and the campers. I mean, this could not be, an, it was made specifically for me. <laughs> so that's kind of how I do it. I just kind of keep my little stack spread out up here so I can see what I've already picked and um, I think actually I'm just only going to pick one from this pa uh, paper pack because I bought a new paper pack this year and I'm excited to use it. Okay, so this one is called Vintage Christmas. I got this one from Hobby Lobby too. And I'm not sure if I got this one this year or last year. I think I got it at the very beginning of this season. So it's not double-sided, which is a little disappointing, but that's okay. Um, but it's got some super pretty um, pages in here. And I used some of these in one of the farm Christmas journals that I just put in the shop. I love, love, love this page. So I'm thinking, I'm just going to pull my stack over here. And I'm thinking that I'm going to like that together with those. So we're going to pull one of these out and put it in our stack. Oh, I love that one too. There are some really pretty pages in here. So let me just kind of flip through the rest of the way and make sure there's not something that I like a little bit more. But I think, oh, I really love this one too. I'm going to pull one of these out and we'll see. See, this is what happens when I start picking pages for these ring binder journals. That's why I always get so many. <laughs> It's just so hard to choose. And then I have these, these 12 by 12s. This one is double-sided. This is uh, Carter Bella's Christmas Market. Um, this page is called Deck the Halls. And then these I've kind of hoarded since last year. I think they're gorgeous. Um, this is from Simple Stories called Country Christmas. Um, this is uh, Carter Bella too, I think. Yeah, this is Cartabella. This one's called Farmhouse Christmas. And this particular sheet's called Tree Farm. And then there's this one from Simply Stories Country Christmas. But it's the image is too big for what I'm doing. So I probably won't use this one. So I have to pick between these three. And, oh, it's going to be a hard choice between these two. But I already have a couple that have barns and trucks on it. So maybe I want to use this one. So that makes the decision. So we'll get rid of those. And then I'll show you my little stack of pattern papers that I've decided to put in the ring binder. 
So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have to watch your page count because especially with a smaller spine like this, um, you know, you, you <laughs> because there's 14 pages in the digital kit that I've already put in it. And then, um, you know, I put the sleeves and some of those recipe pages. So now what I'll do um, is I will cut these to size. Um, and these are, let me see, I wrote it down. Eight, eight and a quarter tall by six and a half wide. So I will cut these down and then we'll come back and move forward. Okay, so I have them all cut out, and I went ahead and punched the holes into them as well. And so I started doing my page count, and I realized I had too much in here already that I was going to try and use. So I had to dwindle it down to just, you know, one sheet of each of these, um, just so it could make room for not just my scrapbooking pages, but also the book pages. Um that I want to use in here and the music pages that I want to use in here. So we'll come back in another video and go through our books and, and you know, pick pages um, out of our books to put into it. And, um, and then maybe I'll just get it all put together and do a final flip through or um, I don't know if I'll show, uh, uh, if I'll have time to do a video um, picking the ephemera or what have you, but anyways, we'll do a few more videos, maybe a couple, maybe three more videos on the ring binder, and then I'll do a final flip through, so I hope y'all are enjoying this. I'm trying to make it a little bit of a, an abbreviated series <laughs> so that the videos aren't so long and you can have more opportunity, I think, to watch them, so let me know if you like the new format that I'm using, um, or any ideas or requests that you may have. So um, I'm going to leave some links and don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to um, watch the, the videos that I link because it's all good fun stuff for y'all to check out. So um, I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video where we pick book pages. Big hugs.